Aloha friends, Tiki Andy here. I'm staying outside the Viv Hotel. It's one of the newer hotels in the Anaheim Resort area. It used to be called the Radisson Blue, uh, but then Marriott took over and became the Viv. One day we're gonna stay here. They got a rooftop bar. They got a nice looking lobby right there and a little cafe. But this video is all about how you would walk to Disneyland from this hotel. Entrance to entrance, how long it would take for those who don't want to take any other transportation who like to hoof it and walk over to the main entrance. So let's get started. I got the time right here. Let me show it on my watch. It is 3.16 p.m. And we're gonna start the timer. 3.16 p.m., let's go. So you go down this way, this is Anaheim Boulevard. And that right there is the 5 Freeway. I'm not gonna have this be a lengthy video. I'll skip it for time's sakes. So it won't be too long. But 3.16 was our start time. The Viv is a very nice looking hotel. I've heard some good reviews about it. I want to stay here one day. There's people in a conference room over there to my right. Not going to put the camera on them. But I will put the camera on what you could kind of see about the rooftop bar when we get to the sign over here. One negative of probably staying at this hotel is maybe there's a lot of road noise with the freeway and Anaheim Boulevard right here. So right up there, the very top, that's where the rooftop bar is. They've got some good views of Disney. One tricky thing here is there's this on-ramp here for the freeway and you gotta cross right here. Uh, cars just have a yield sign so they can just keep coming so you gotta kind of pay attention so like turn around right here there's no cars coming so I got lucky and then crosswalk right there with an actual crossing button and we'll pass into the freeway here's the freeway side of the Viv very nice art on the side you can see the rooftop bar up there which will overlook Disney, which is right over there. So, not bad at all. So another negative I will mention is, earlier I saw there was a homeless person hanging out right over here. So you might run into some homeless people. But if you're okay with that, it's not a bad walk. If you couldn't tell, walking under that bridge, it does get a bit noisy. Uh, there's the Cambria Hotel, they got a little water park over there a couple water slides this is disney way so anaheim boulevard the five freeway also right there disney way you just turn right and go straight down disney way motel six there's another couple of hotels over there by the way on disney way right now and now is 3 22 p.m so it's only been six minutes by the way, no, this is not a sponsorship for the Viv Hotel. Not at all, I'm not a partner. Or it could be. Here, come up to this signal light right here, which is a exit ramp for the five. Always hit the button. Gotta wait my turn. Ah. As you come around to Clementine, Mission Breakout starts coming into view right there. So, not too far now. Theme parks and garden walk this way. It always also depends on the timing and your walking speed. So like, I just got to the light, it's already green, so I'm gonna hit the button. But, gotta wait for the little walking man. 326 update, so it's been about 10 minutes. There's the JW Marriott over there. The garden walk starts right there. On Clementine and Disney Way. As I'm crossing here, see one of the blue art shuttles right there. I'm pretty sure the Viv has their own shuttle line. I didn't ask anyone, but fairly certain it's far enough away that it probably has its own shuttle line. 
if you don't want to walk. Pro tip, always make sure to wear comfy walking shoes whenever you're going to Disney. I'm wearing my Hoka's, so my feet feel fine. As I am approaching what used to be the Pumbaa parking lot. It still kind of is, but it's all just cast member parking now. But future home of the Eastern Gateway parking structure for Disneyland Forward. We're still trekking on as we pass Pumbaa. We're at the 329 mark, so it's been about 13 minutes. Also, pro tip, bring water. As we begin our final approach, Harbor Boulevard, to cross harbor, the Grand Legacy at the park, probably the most popular rooftop bar in the area. Arguably, I haven't been there in a while. But I would love to go back. And we're gonna get ready to cross harbor to our final destination. Now there are two walking paths. There's this one and there's the one over there. It's right on Harbor Boulevard. Those people are walking. It really doesn't matter which one you take. I like this one a little bit more. A little off the road. Coming up on the drop off pickup lot here. And we're sitting at 3.36, 20 minutes. Still 22 minutes later, past another monorail, entering the Esplanade. So I'll give it probably another couple of minutes. And I'll be at the main gate. Of course, also it depends on what time of the day you come. Because then, it depends on how big the queue is for the bag check and security. 3.42 p.m. I am in the Esplanade. Almost 30 minutes. I did have to get wanded down because of my belt. But uh, security was a breeze. But that's obviously at this time of the day. It can always be different depending on what time you come in. Well friends, I hope that was informative. I hope that doesn't sway your decision of staying at the Viv. I have no idea, I've never stayed there. I have no opinion yet. So uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. I know I did one on the Westin already a while ago, but I think I'll do more of these to, to see what the walking path's like from the various hotels before I stay at them. Have a great day everyone, stay safe. Please like, comment if this was helpful to you. See you in the next one. Aloha.